everybody it is badger wild and we are back with my channel's very very first ship review and i decided if i'm going to review a ship it should be one of the ships that i love from a sci-fi that i have really enjoyed anytime i get to watch it the few times i've gotten to watch it i need to buy the rest of the episodes and watch the rest of this but i've loved the ship designs and that is the expanse a little, a little a little thing about the expanse when i first started watching it uh i did not like the look of the ships at first but it was afterward i began to you know study more about the sci-fi and where the, where it all come from and, and it was just based on the book series and whatnot and realized hey you know there's a reason these ships are designed the way they are because they're realistic like what people would actually put out there and i i have a soft spot for ships that are functional in other words the form of the ship follows function and so after realizing why they're designed this way i ended up falling in love with almost every one of these ships but the one we're going to look at today is a very small one that i think most of y'all would enjoy having inside of your space engineer survival game this is completely vanilla so you can do whatever you want with this ship and that is the mcrn morgan class light destroyer now, this ship is supposed to be a, well, I'll tell you what, we will just hop up here and pull up the Morgan class here. MCRM Morgan is a new patrol destroyer, part of a modernization program started by the Martian Congressional Republic. The program includes a larger Corvette class and the much larger Doniger class battlecruiser. The Morgan class patrol destroyer is the smallest design to house an Epstein drive. It is very lightly armored with two PDCs and two torpedo launchers. Living space on patrol destroyers is cramped and assignment to them is less desirable. Uh, this is just a small ship. It has a number of blocks of 7,778. Author is Pabble 2. Pabble has taken this. You can see right over here on the side, I've got a bunch of these ships. We've got the uh, MCR and Tashi class, which is just, ooh, so much fun with that one there. Uh, we also got the drone up here. I'll, I'll review a lot of this stuff later if y'all want. Size is 8.4 megabytes. And uh, the PCU on this thing is 9,255. A, a very small price to pay for such a fantastic looking ship. And I, I absolutely love the look of this. And Pabell has, has gone full force with these ships. I have to give this man a shout out, okay? Uh, Pabell took the entire concept of the ships in the expanse and just ran with it so hard uh he's created like i said he's created multiple ships those are just the ones i've i've gone into there's several versions of the morgan out there uh there's a blue version a gray version uh, i think like five probably but these ships are just they are absolutely amazing so we are going to jump up here because i want you all to see what all is about this ship but first we're going to start from the very front here we've got a nice, the nice MCRN Morgan look to the front, which has this very cool looking fuselage effect. I love this when someone builds a ship and it looks like a dang fuselage because it looks like something that should be fast, like the old uh, muscle cars, like the old Challengers, Chargers and Mustangs, or even the old Corvettes. It's got this giant fuselage uh, front grill, which looks like it just inhales air and craps it fire right out the back. <laughs> All right, I love it. Anyway, sitting over here, we have an antenna, an encased area that's kind of concave so that it's, you know, kind of protected from sideways shots. Love this concept. We have one camera, two cameras for backup, two spotlights so that you can see what you're looking at. And two rocket launchers. And yes, uh, this is one of the things that I tell people all the time. If you want to build better ships, look at what other people have done. These are actual doors, uh, just basically airlock doors that can be closed to cover up your rocket pods. Give them a little bit of protection while you're flying on through there. Going up over the top, we've got a couple of uh, engines. We've got another raised ridge here, which provides us more uh, armor plating so we can add... You know, a couple more of these hydrogen thrusters in here. By the way, this whole ship is vanilla. So Xbox fans, 
console PC, any of y'all can take this thing, throw it right into your game, print this sucker off. You have a ship ready made in. And there's a couple of things about Pavel ships I will say. The, the ones that I have used, they are extremely well designed and they are very, very good in a straight up firefight. I uh, most I would state most of these ships, you could pit them against another one with equal size, and Pavel ships would probably come out on top because the firepower, uh, these ships can just put most of their guns onto target. And enough about that. Let's continue the little tour here. We have this ray section going around here to the back. We have our main Epstein drive thruster. And before we get over there, we got a couple more ion engines with what appears to be parachute blocks so that we can catch the ship on the way down. A few beacons back here. Got our main heavy hydrogen thruster with a nice little cone which protects the entire thruster area, which is awesome. And uh, now we're down here at the bottom. We've got our more thrusters around this. Also, these ships have internalized thrusters, so don't be fooled by the outside thrusters here. They are they have internalized thrusters to give them a little more oomph. This is just for design. We have our main entrance, another raised section here, back to the fuselage area. And we've also got these PDC cannons on opposite sides of the ship so that if you're being attacked, you can actually just turn this thing sideways and you can take a couple of... No, I'd be taking a few hits, but you can put most of your guns on target. So that's enough of the outside. Let's head on in here and let me show you the uniqueness of this ship. Now, before we hop in, this is the ship as it travels through space. This is how it looks. And this is the interesting part of the MCRN ships in Space Engineers or in the, the Expanse is all the ships are built like skyscrapers. So you've got your connector here. You have your little door. We'll go in. Mind you, before we go in, look, this is this is how the, the decks are aligned in the ship. They're, they're in a, a skyscraper fashion. Go over here, lie right in here to the Morgan class, which I, I love this ship because it just looks like a race car. Uh, if you were to have a Corvette that looked like a race car, it would have to be something like this. And uh, here you are. You're inside. This is how Pavel has done this uh, beautifully with these uh, window blocks because you can travel up and down them almost like stairs. Uh, fairly cramped. Uh, we're going to start at the very bottom of the ship here. So not to spoil anything else as we go around. Uh, like I said, these are these are only drawback to Pavel ships is they are very difficult to maneuver around in. So first we start out in the engine room. We, like I said, we have more internalized thrusters with a corridor blocks to, you know, provide that little area there. Uh, just you know, give that a little bit of detail. We've got oxygen tanks. We've got our internalized hydrogen thrusters. These ships are really fast. They're really fast, very capable. We've got one hyperdrive and two, one to two hyperdrives and what appears to be oxygen and hydrogen generators on either side with two large hydrogen tanks going up. And that makes up most of the entire system with a couple of, uh, let's see, we got some conveyor blocks. I don't see any, we have any, oh, we've got another, I think this might be, what is this? Now, that's a H2O2 generator. Let's pop the control panel here so we can see what all is inside this thing. We've got, uh, yes, I was right, four parachute hatches, projector, rocket launchers, all the good stuff. I'm looking through here, and it appears we do not have a refinery. Ah, so that's, that's, that's interesting. We don't have a, any refineries in this ship. We don't have any building capabilities. Of course, this is a short-range ship. It's not meant to be, you know, running out there. Originally, in the Expanse, uh, this and the Tashi class were... You could put both of them inside of the Doninger. So what we come up into here is the backup control room, or a backup ICC, I guess is what you would call it. I don't know what the exact terminology is. I'll figure that out in the next video. But we have in here, you know, we got remote control blocks. We've got our gyros. Projector. This is the uh, bridge built in, you know, embedded inside of the ship when you're doing combat. This is probably the bridge you want to be operating out of instead of the, the bridge at the very top. You can see this is the bottom floor, and Pavel just 
you're going to see this as you go through the ship. Pavel has just compressed each room layer by layer. It's amazing uh, how this guy has built these ships. I, I want to build a ship similar to this, but I haven't figured out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know all the particulars of doing this. So anyway, this is the, the backup uh, helm. We'll go up to the next level here. And this is the crew quarters. And you'll notice something really interesting about this ship. We have one, two, three, four, five, six beds on this ship. You could bring a pretty good size assault force with this in terms of manpower. Uh, this could you could bring this onto a, a you can make a great assault ship attacking a position. So your guys could then run out and, and jump off. It'd also make a pretty good pirate ship. You'd have plenty of people to lock onto. I am planning on making a version of this and putting it in our current live stream that's going on if we get a few more players. Because this, this little ship here would be fun to play with. We've also got the Sentinel. I've, I've got to do a video on it. But you, you notice here, you can you can run a full crew of guys and, and take them across the galaxy, across the star system, and, you know, defend planets, defend stations with this. It'd be a good ship for doing that. Heading up to the next level, we enter the... I want to say this is the docking bay area where we would be docked. There's the door. We just come in. We're going to shut this one right here just for added protection. We've got some suits here, another suit locker, some more ventilation to ventilate the entire ship, a remote turret <laughs> or an interior turret, not a remote turret, an interior turret, which will stop anyone from coming in. Uh, I would, I would probably replace that with something a little more oomph uh, with a new custom turret script system. Now we we have this going on. What does this do? Okay, that opens the door. So we've got door panel buttons, which will open and close doors. Uh, gyro, extra gyroscopes in here, more lockers, access to cargo, you know, all the good stuff. And you got buttons here. You can program in other things. You can program other stuff into the buttons, which is awesome. Go right ahead up to the next level here. And the next level we're going to get up into is a medical bay. This is pretty cool. Uh, I I have never thought about doing this with the lockers and the uh, the bathrooms and stuff, but that, that is one thing this ship does have, is a bathroom. We've got a nice little toilet here. Uh, we've got more lockers, CAT scan system, survival kit to respawn off of, another battery, a seat for the doctor here, more lockers, a nice shower for everyone to shower into, and uh, more locker space. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Like I said, very compressed ship. It's very cool how many systems Pavel can, can just pack into these things. Up here, we have the cafeteria, I believe. We've got our kitchen, our vending machine here for Clang Cola. It's pretty good. And we've got a couple of uh, space hemp. Because, I mean, if you're going to be a pirate, you got to have that space hemp. Uh, you gotta make, you got to make your money somehow in space. That's the good stuff there. Heading on, uh, uh, before we can go on, you, we've got access to a cargo container, which gives us, I believe, full access to the entire ship. Let's check this out here. Yeah, we can access uh, pretty much anything in here, except the lockers. So, heading on up, the next level, we have what I think is a computer room. You've got these uh, programmable blocks, remote control blocks on either side, a couple more lockers and a conveyor here. Around heading up, I know that this is a, a long ship. Up here, we have the final area. I believe we've actually got an extra area I did not know existed. We're gonna have to check that out here in a sec. Let's just pop this on. Oh, this is a cargo hatch to grab cargo and containers, probably to put stuff into the missile pods. I believe is that where that goes, probably. So then we can uh shut that there. We've got these nice angle irons here, batteries. We have multiple seating positions and your primary cockpit, which will then tilt upward and enables you to fly your ship. This is this is the, the cockpit here is running to the nose of the ship. We also have these interesting lights here. I, I just love this here. So we've got this light here, which is the one we've currently got. We've got blue light systems. I don't know what this is for. Maybe for, you know, going dark night lights, perhaps. Maybe. I don't know. 
We also have Red Alert. We're under attack. Womp, womp, womp. And then we got this last one here, which is just amazing. We got Disco. I think. It just makes everything purple. I don't know what the point of the purple light would be. By the way, let's just swap it back to the ring links. The purple light's giving me a bit of a headache. And let's hop inside this ship. And let's try it out for speed. Going to access the tab here so I can see all the different weapon systems we got. We got two missile launchers in the front, which is just launching our torpedoes. See here, this is actually not a very hard ship to maneuver. The Sentinel is just a little bit faster, but that's because I added a ton of gyros to the Sentinel. And uh, let's see how fast we can go here from 0 to 100 meters per second. And 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's about mm, somewhere between six and a half to seven seconds. This thing is up to 100 meters per second, which is an impressive acceleration rate. And turn it on. You see those internalized thrusters are really helping with the look of the ship. And also make the ship look like it, you know, it's, it's, it, there's not a whole lot fighting it. As far as combat, we don't have any ships out here. <laughs> I just realized I probably needed a ship to challenge the Morgan with. I may do a separate video where me and Chris, you know, we get a couple Morgans and we fight it out or some nonsense. But as far as maneuvering, I have always loved the Expanse ships. We can pull this thing in here and uh, you know fly around a couple asteroids at least, show off the maneuverability. And as I said before, this is a full vanilla ship. It is 100% vanilla. In other words, uh, anyone who can get the blueprint for this off, you can pretty much put it into your world, play it. You might need a couple of goodies. Uh, a couple of DLCs to make it work. You can just imagine a couple of these things just sitting inside of an asteroid field or something, just waiting for someone to... just waiting for some fool to come in here and get caught by them. And they make a great little set of pirate fleet vessels. And that's the one thing I do... And as I said before, I love the way Pavel has built this ship. Uh, he's captured the triangle and triangle look just beautifully. And it looks good, and it functions pretty good as well. You've got, like I said, you've got two rocket launchers and two BDCs, which is more than enough firepower to threaten anything. Most of the ships that are vanilla inside of uh, Space Engineers. So you could easily fly this thing in, attack any other ship. We've got, like I said, we've got our nice little skills here. We got our camera one, camera two. Um, around here, number four activates our search lights, which you can imagine this thing coming up to a station and just searching for stuff. Um, number seven closes our uh, missile tubes. Nice. Let's check this out here. We've got EDCs on number one, number three. What does that do? I don't know what number three does. Let's take a look here. Does that was that the bottom? Yeah, that number three opens everything up. Number four does your parachutes. Number six turns off all your hydrogen thrusters. It appears is that all the hydrogen. Yeah, it turns off all the thrusters. Never mind. Turn that all back on. Number eight is your antenna, and number nine is your beacon. Uh, that way you can go stealth if you have to and sneak up on someone else's ship without them seeing your antenna. We have the ability to turn off all the hydrogen engines. We have the ability to turn off all the ion engines. That's pretty good. Uh, number one turns off the reactor. Number two turns off the battery. So pretty good there. And that's about it. But yeah, folks, this here is the MCRN Morgan class ship. Light patrol destroyer. Very nice ship by Pebble 2. Awesome ship, man. 
uh, looking forward to checking out a few of the other ones eventually, which will come up on the channel. Uh, I plan on reviewing more of his ships because I have I have fell in love with the Expanse universe and just love every single minute of it. And this this ship here is a great for all y'all space engineers out there needing a small patrol ship. And as Pavel says, modify it however you want. Just if you do use it, give him credit. Uh, be sure to check him out. Link to this ship will be in the description and a link will also be to Pavel's workshop in the description. That way you guys can go in there and check out the other MCRN and Expanse ships that Pavel has made. He's made some awesome ones, including the legendary Doniger class battleship, which runs purely on middle finger energy, as uh, fans have stated in the Expanse. Anyway, folks, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, ship review. Be sure to leave me a like, a comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll try to bring out more videos like this and some more tips videos. Uh, be sure and also drop into the comments a ship or a, or at least put in the comments a ship, a link to the ship in the workshop that you would like for me to review. Anything can be reviewed. Uh, mostly would prefer stuff that is vanilla because I don't know if I can get all the mods for everything now. But I will, I will try to review any ship that... Y'all put out there. Anyway, my name is Badger Wild, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.